Hey friend, we're here at Universal Orlando, and today's adventure is nothing short of legendary. We're diving headfirst into the world of Universal Epic Universe, the latest and most ambitious expansion Universal has ever dreamed up. Think futuristic lands, nostalgic nods to our favorite franchises, and new worlds where magic feels real. But that's not all. We're also indulging in some unforgettable food at the steampunk-inspired Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. And we've got a shiny new Universal Annual Pass that promises endless adventures. So grab a snack and settle in. This is going to be one whirlwind of a day where every step tells a story. Now, before we even step through those grand Universal gates, let's talk about the Universal Annual Pass. Getting one of these is like joining an exclusive club where every day can be a theme park day. And for my Florida friends out there, Universal has made it so easy with their flex pay option. This genius plan lets you pay month to month, making it super affordable to come back as many times as you want. No need to splurge all at once, just a little bit each month. And Universal becomes your playground all year round. Imagine the possibilities from spontaneous roller coaster rides to those perfectly timed afternoon coffee breaks at the parks. The annual pass is, it's like having a VIP backstage pass to all the fun Universal has to offer. All right, let's get this day started on a sweet note. Quite literally, Central Park Crepes is our first stop. And let me tell you, (laughs) this isn't your average crepe stand. Today, I'm diving into their strawberry chocolate hazelnut crepe, which has a bit of a cult following. Picture this, a warm golden crepe that's soft, yet just a hint of crispness on the edges filled with rich chocolate hazelnut spread and topped with fresh strawberries that are perfectly sweet and juicy. Each bite is like a little love letter to dessert. Now eating one here feels like a nod to that French tradition uh, with a Orlando twist, of course. And just as I'm polishing off that heavenly crepe, the mega movie parade kicks off. Now, If you've never experienced Universal's parades, let me set the scene. Imagine a parade where your favorite characters leap off the screen and march right past you in vibrant costumes, performing dances and stunts that make you feel like you're on a movie set. We're talking Minions, Jurassic Park, and even a few Ghostbuster cameos. It's a blend of music, color, and pure Universal magic. Parades have been a part of theme park tradition since Disneyland's opening day, designed to make guests feel like they're inside the story. And Universal? Oh, they're masters at making it larger than life. It's not hard to grin ear to ear when you see a troll giving you a thumbs up. As the parade floats past by, I can't help but feel this thrill. This is only the beginning of what's going to be a year full of adventures. Having an annual pass isn't just about quick visits or seeing the same things over and over again. It's about peeling back the layers of these parks, exploring new details, hidden gems, and getting to know Universal like it's your own backyard. Every visit holds the potential for something new, whether it's a seasonal event, a limited time food special, or even catching a hidden Easter egg in a ride you've been on a dozen times. It's like being part of an exclusive club where Universal itself becomes your personal playground. So here's to 365 days of pure magic, laughter, and stories waiting to be untold. All right, adventure calls and it's lunchtime. We're off to the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. 
And if you haven't heard of this place, brace yourself. Picture a towering steampunk factory, complete with giant gears, smokestacks, and the aroma of chocolate drifting through the air. The decor alone is worth a trip. Think brass pipes, Victorian-esque furniture, and servers who look like they could step out of a Jules Verne novel. It's like Willy Wonka meets Sherlock Holmes, but with a much larger menu. I mean, can you imagine a better setting for a meal? This place is not just a restaurant, it's an experience. Now, here's where Toothsome Chocolate Emporium gets even cooler. The entire place is inspired by the fictional story of Penelope Toothsome, a 19th century chocolatier and inventor with a knack for adventure. After traveling the world to gather rare and magical ingredients, Penelope built this chocolate emporium to share her discoveries and creations with the world. Every detail in the restaurant is a tribute to her travels, from the brass steampunk gears to the Victorian style decor. It's like stepping into a dream fueled by chocolate and creativity. But Penelope didn't bark on these adventures alone. Alongside her was a very special companion, Jacques, her trusty robot sidekick. Now, Jacques isn't just any robot. He's a marvel of 19th century engineering, designed by Penelope herself as both a protector and a helper. In toothsome lore, Jacques accompanied her across continents, helping to navigate, protect, and carry all the precious ingredients she discovered. With his smooth manners and quirky sense of humor, Jacques quickly became both Penelope's assistant and best friend. At the Emporium, Jacques is always eager to entertain guests with his witty commentary, impeccable manners, and of course, his unwavering loyalty to Penelope and her chocolate creations. So, if you spot a silver robot wandering around the restaurant, don't be shy. Jacques loves to share stories from his travels, making each visit to Toothsome feel more like a step into Penelope's enchanting world of chocolate adventure, and invention. First up, the warm chocolate almond bread. It's soft, rich, almost cake-like bread that smells like the best brownie you've ever had. This isn't just bread, it's dessert disguised as an appetizer, and I am here for it. All right, let's talk Brussels sprouts. I know, I know, sprouts might not scream exciting, but these are on another level. It's a flavor explosion, a perfect combo of spice and crunch. Toothsome took something ordinary and made it extraordinary. You've never had Brussels sprouts like these. Next up, the Waldorf chicken salad, a classic dish with a twist. This salad brings together grilled chicken, juicy grapes, crisp Granny Smith apples and candied walnuts, all on a bed of shredded romaine. It's refreshing, but filling, a perfect option if you want to enjoy Toothsome's flavors without the heavier fare. As the sun sets, Toothsome transforms, the lights come on, casting a warm glow across the building, and suddenly the Emporium feels like it's part of a fantasy novel. The gears and pipes gleam under the lights, and a faint mist surrounds the entrance. It's romantic and mysterious, like a hidden chocolate factory in the heart of a bustling city. The ambiance at night is unmatched. It feels like stepping into a storybook with chocolate-scented air feeling the cool night. It's truly the cherry on top of an unforgettable day. All right, friend, time for the big reveal, the Universal Epic Universe Preview Center. This isn't just a preview. It's like looking into the future of theme parks. Here you'll find a giant scale model of the entire park, complete with miniature rides, detailed landscapes, and interactive screens that gives you a feel for each new world. And here's the cherry on top. They've created an augmented reality app that brings the entire model to life on your phone. Imagine watching a dragon fly over a tiny village or seeing magical creatures emerge right from the screen. 
It's part high-tech wizardry, part sneak peek, and totally epic. Our first stop in the Preview Center is Celestial Park, an enchanting new land inspired by the mysteries of space. Celestial Park is designed to make you feel like you're floating among the stars with attractions that explore the beauty and intrigue of the cosmos. It's like Universal combined the awe of the night sky with the thrill of a theme park. (laughs) And I can't wait to see it come to life. Next, brace yourselves for Super Mario World. This land is a love letter to every Mario fan out there. You can explore iconic scenes like Bowser's Castle and Mushroom Kingdom, all recreated in stunning detail. And yes, yes, you'll be able to punch a question mark blocks and hear the iconic sound. It's like stepping inside your favorite video game and getting to be part of the adventure. For all you fellow Potterheads out there, get ready. The Ministry of Magic is making its debut. Imagine walking down corridors filled with magical artifacts and enchanting fireplaces. The Ministry of Magic has always been a base of mystery and drama, and Universal is bringing it to life like never before. It's a magical extension of the wizarding world that promises to be unforgettable. Next up, we're soaring over to the Isle of Burke from How to Train Your Dragon. Picture Viking villages nestled among towering cliffs with dragons soaring overhead and the cool breezes of the sea. The Viking villages, the scenic landscape, and yes, the chance to see Toothless up close. Isle of Burke is a tribute to adventure and exploration. And finally, Prepare to enter the shadows with the dark universe. Inspired by Universal's classic monster films, this land is all about mystery, horror, and the supernatural. From Dracula's castle to haunted forest, this land pulls you into the darker side of Universal's history. For fans of horror, this will be like stepping into the pages of a classic novel, complete with creepy atmospheres and chilling thrills. Well, friend, that's a wrap on today's journey through Universal. From crepes and chocolates to dragons and wizards, this has been an adventure for the ages. And the best part? (laughs) This is only the beginning. With our new annual pass, we'll be back to experience every event, every season, and every magical moment this year. So if you're ready to join us, hit that subscribe button, because trust me, you won't want to miss a second of what's coming next. Do you believe in magic? Yay! Goodbye. And hey... If you're as hooked on theme park magic as we are, check out our Disney Resort Virtual Walk series. We've got all the hidden details, insider tips, and immersive vibes waiting for you. So dive into the magic with us. Whether it's Universal or Disney, every step tells a story. Are you going to go to the I think I would have a hard time eating if it had the cute face. I think so too. I would still do it. I do love you.